Hello everybody. I um, was... What's up? <laughs> Welcome back to Booties Emporium and let's have a look what's on my messy desk today. I wanted to do a tutorial for you and I have merrily been going around doing the tutorial and getting uh, this far and I look up to check how the recording time's going and what was happening? Not recording. So I don't know what happened there, but I will give you a basic rundown again. So today I'm going to show you how to do these little pendant uh, type of things that I use as embellishments on my journals. I'll show you an example oh, of one on a journal that I've just about finished. So you'll see right here, you can make it look quite lovely. And there's another one there. Now I get my, they're pendant trays is what they're called. And I get mine from AliExpress. Now AliExpress are great. Uh, a lot of people are wary of them. You know, they think, oh, you know, take so long. And you know, what if they send you rubbish and all that sort of thing. They are very, very good. They are the suppliers of the people that sell on eBay. And um, they are very inexpensive. Now, yes, you do have a wait. You know, you might have three, four weeks, sometimes six weeks, depending on the person. But on it, it'll show you when it will come in. And um, and if you want fast tracking, you can pay $7.99 and get it within like a week to 10 days. So that's great. Now, I get as much as I can from AliExpress because of the great prices. So everything you see uh, metal-wise and such on my desk, my rivets and all sorts of things, I get from AliExpress. So I've got a selection of pendant trays that I'm going to show you how to, to do. And um, what I did was, is I have cut out, fussy cut, a little picture that I had of a little girl's face, little vintage girl's face. I then put the, uh, did the edging with the Distress Ink and put a little bit, I'll be doing another one for you, so put a little bit of glue down and pop that on. And now I've just put a couple of little flower embellishments on there. So that's where we're up to. I do apologise that you didn't see that, but I'll be doing another one to show you. So I'm not quite sure what happened there, but all is good. So I just wanted to see if a little bit of greenery would, um, would go in there. You know, is that something that's going to... To look all right of course it wants to be a beast but you know I think I just like it with the flowers just sitting there so so I've used Boyle's glue which is a terrific glue it can be used on so many things. It's really, really good. It is a flexible glue. It does dry sort of to hold things quite quickly um, and then cures overnight. You can glue, glue fabric and things like that if it's thick. Don't use it on thin things because it will show through because it's such a, a, um, a sturdy glue, but it's fantastic. It's about $10 for a bottle, but this lasts ages and ages and ages, okay? So get your pendant trays, get your bits and pieces. Um, you know, you might have a cutout from a magazine or a family photo or something like that and have yourself ready. Now, I'll let that just dry for a moment. Um, so you'll need your cutouts, you'll need your pendant trays, you'll need your glitter glue, which is what I used to stick it on the tray because it won't affect the paper, won't show through and glossy accents to put on the top. Now, this is something that Rails from Crafts from a Dungeon showed me, and um, it's a terrific thing to have. Uh, she used it to put on top of uh, a little, she had a pendant tray and she put a cog in there and then put a bit on top, and it just gave it a nice sealed glossy finish. But I've started using it on my pendants and ephemera when I'm making something like this, and it really does come out quite well. So, waiting for that to dry just a little bit. Now the way to best get your uh, to best get your shape, I'll show you with this one. 
let's see what shall we put in here let's see if we've got a picture big enough oh come here A little fairy hiding in there so we could have that one did i bring anything oh that's the other one there or we could have a piece of that one but i think this one the blue will look quite nice so what i do is i just have a look and i sort of line it up and say okay well that's i can feel where it is you know right i think that's that's about where i want it okay and then all i do is I start pressing around that edge of the pendant tray okay you can see that that little indentation is starting to show through so we press 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 around the pendant tray press 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 and then what you're going to find is on the back you're going to have can you see there you are you're going to have the indentation so then you take your fussy cut scissors I've just got these embroidery ones I do have the the B scissors but I'm just not quite sure what I did with them and you're going to carefully cut around this for the shape now it'll be just a little bit too big because we've actually marked it for the outside there okay okay there we go so yeah it's just a little bit big so we're going to just trim it just a skosh just go a little bit at a time as you see fit you don't want to have too much of a gap you want it to be a nice a nice clean fit little bit off the top here we go and a little bit there right what I like to do then is I like to do the antiquing around the outside just to give it that little bit of character you know Just ages it up a little bit. <clears throat> and then we just simply glue it down. So that's the best way to do the trays is just line up where your picture is going to be and just press around the edge because trying to draw around that is going to be quite difficult. The nature of the beast. Now you might find a nice picture that you've in a magazine or something don't die I'm messy and i wipe it on my apron so you know <laughs> you might find something that came off a greeting card or a christmas card or something like that run your nail around the outside or the inside edge i should say so that you're getting that seal And there you have your nice little flower inside inside there now you can do any number of things you can do a little bit of wire get your jewelry wire and um, put it around the edge there carefully using your boils craft glue and uh, do a little a little swirl you can do um, little bits of flour or something in there anything at all you can do okay so that's the easiest way to to cut out the shape of your piece now you can also do you could do a little bit of uh, a little bit of you know perhaps lace in the corner or something like that let me see if I've got any tiny blue flower that I could use 
Uh, mm. I don't know about that. Looks like all my flowers are quite big. I really didn't uh, plan on doing it this way, so I'm not quite ready, but you know, things happen and that's okay. So you can have a little bit of a play around and see, you know, what's going to look any good. I'll try oh, one of these little ones. Maybe it's a little baby one. Perhaps in the blue. Something like that. If you can see that. And we could put the other little bit of it up there if you so desired, you know, to balance it if you wanted to. But I like the little little dot down there. So get our glitter glue again. Give it a little pat down. Now we could put another little, we've put a little green crystal up there to match, you know, something like that. But um, I think that's quite pretty on its own, just for the purpose of uh, the tutorial today. So what we're going to do then is we're going to get our glossy accents. She says with great confidence. Let me uh, just check that this is going to flow properly because I see blue in there. There we go. All right, so we're going to simply, I'll bring it a little closer. We're going to simply squeeze the bottle gently and start just filling in. It's quite liquid and it gives you plenty of time to uh, play with it. I find that if you keep the nozzle in in the tray as you're going and squeezing that you get less bubbles. It may dry with the bubble that you know, might come up later but that's okay. This will dry overnight okay. So I'm going to go all along those edges make sure they're all sealed. Can you see, there we go, you can see that. Now this will have to sit flat because it is a bit runny. I'm just making sure that that's got a nice coating, a nice, you know, couple of mils on top. Now this will look cloudy when it's first done, but it will dry absolutely clear. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Okay. Now I will uh, film these after they've dried tomorrow and hopefully, because I'm not very good at editing, but then I can show you what to do from there. So we'll just sit this one down. Oh, I shall put it out the way because you know me, I will just knock that out of the way. Now this one's a bit more trickier because when it dries, it's got to dry at level. And we've got our little flowers there as well. So same principle. Around we go. Around our flower. A little bit in there. Squeezing as we go. So you're constantly working with a bubble of 
the glossy accents there. A couple of mils. You want to overfill it. You don't want it going past the beveled edge, but you want it sort of going to the edge. Just bring it a bit closer to myself so I can see. So that's going to have, that's going to dry clear and that's going to have the flowers just sitting out. I can put a little drop on it. I can coat it. Any number of things. Okay. Now I'm going to sit that down. I'll have to put something under it so that it dries level and um, and check that in the morning. Now just give me a moment to see. Hmm, perhaps this little hanger of mine might be enough. Let me just pop it up there. All right, so leave that there to dry. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you were these little cute embellishments that I also got from uh, from AliExpress. Now, there's any number of things that you can do with these. You can use them just as they are, pop a bit of ribbon or chain or whatever and just have it dangling off. I've also used them as a tab. So... You know, you've got your nice little piece of paper or your signature or whatever, and you can pop that on. It looks great on the edge and also look lovely sticking out. Okay. You can also use them to give the impression that you've got uh, hinges, you know, on perhaps on the front cover of something. Um, and you can, you can do any number of things. Now, what I've done with this one is I have super glued a brooch back onto it right so I can pin that anywhere that I like in any way in my journal or on the front or I can even wear it if I want to okay now I'm thinking that maybe wonder excuse me with hiccups <laughs> possibly can do oh, you know if you wanted to do like a little a little cluster on it with your bits of lace what other color we could put a little bit of fabric on it any number of things a little bit of ribbon you know all of the above. A little bit of vintage cotton, you know, and maybe, maybe just a little, a little rose. Perhaps utilize this little calyx here. And pop on a little rose it just all depends what you know what floats your boat uh, I think that's an okay size just might make this a little bit smaller so that's just again I use the boils. I like it very much. Do you have trouble telling which side is the right side for lace? I do sometimes.
that's it there. And then I want a little bit of something something there. So let's give that a bit of glue. can even just age that up a little bit. like so now if I've got maybe a couple of little roses let me just have a quick dig I know where they are there's one and that one's lost its little doodad Doodad is a very technical term, in case you didn't know. Right, put you back up there. So we've got, you know, two. I'm going to twist them together. a bit of a snip and with our glue buds quite cute now once that's dried I might put a little bit of something a little maybe a little leaf or some such thing but I don't want to play with it too much while it's drying let's see cut a leaf out of anything really you know it's really up to your own imagination oops actually I don't like that shape very much I'll just cut that around a bit more here we go it's got a better tip on it now I want that to tuck right in there glue is. You see? So that's a nice little vintage piece. I use these clips all the time. They're actually quilting clips but they're really good. And that will hold it in place for me while it dries. Now the last thing that I want to show you is this one. Now what I want to do with this one is I want to put a little bit of, because I'm not going to use the glossy accents on this one, okay, so I just want to put a bit of lace down. This lace is very old lace. to the right 
size. I'll try and do it a bit straighter than that, Laura. too much off but that doesn't matter because we're going to have something on top of it so I will snip it right now for this one I think hmm, we'll give the Glitter glue will go. Not have we clogged? Come on. No, all right. Well, we'll go to our other one. This one's a little bit more runny, that's all. The same as if we're putting a picture in. At least this dry is clear, you know. And we're going to, it doesn't really matter from this angle. Put a little bit of lace down. Keep in mind this will dry clear. So it'll look a bit strange to start with. Now, when I bought some paper and so on, um, she tied it up with a bit of string and had this little tag on it. And I just cut the tag top off. It's quite cute, little rustic kind of looking thing. So I thought I would put that <clears throat> in the frame. Now I'm going to use boils on this one because it's going on top of lace. And um, I don't feel confident that the uh, that the glitter glue would hold it as well you know so I'm going to use this now there won't be much of a gap but what gap there is you'll see lace you know because it wasn't exactly the right size but that doesn't matter you know Now once that dries, you'll just see little bits of lace behind that and this scrappy on top. Now you can put a little bit of chain, a bit of ribbon, one of those uh, globe clips, anything like that. You can pop on top there. These all make a lovely embellishment. You can make a pendant or a brooch for a loved one. There's our brooch embellishment, which looks lovely. And the other two, which I can't move, they'll be dry in the morning. So I might insert a little clip to uh, to show you how, how they turned out and maybe show you these with a little bit of ribbon or whatever on them, okay? So that's it for this part. And um, I will see you when we wrap it up. Thank you. See you soon.